Hello everybody and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to build this amazing 8 destination minecart station. This uses the new mechanic in Minecraft 1.8 with the item frames to select where you want to go to. So you can now rotate the items in 8 different positions which acts as a perfect interface to select where you want to go to. As well as this is also going to give you a signal strength using a comparator which we can then use to manipulate the tracks and where the minecart is going to go to. So obviously this acts as an interface for selecting where you want to go to. You can then press the button, it's going to dispense the minecart and send it on its way. It's going to go down the correct track and then that can take you to your destination. And this station will also accept incoming minecarts as well. So if another minecart was to come down here, it would go all the way into the station where it would go into this cactus. So let's see that in action. Another thing to note here is that there is a slight delay giving you enough time to get inside that minecart. But when it comes back around here, it goes into the cactus, it turns into an item, drops in the hopper and goes all the way back into the dispenser, ready to be used again. So before we start the tutorial, I'm going to give you an explanation of how this thing works. So let's start off with the redstone around the back. First of all, we have this comparator taking a signal strength from the item frame, and that's simply just passing it down all the way to the bottom here. Now note that there are two pieces of redstone here that actually decreases the signal strength by one, which is intentional, but for the rest of these pieces of redstone, they would actually stay at the same signal strength if it wasn't for these furnaces. Now, they've got an item in them, so that's going to create a single piece of signal strength that points into the comparators, which are in subtract mode. So that means that the signal strength will decline by one for each piece of redstone and the redstone is also used to control the rail on the top here so when we press the button we're actually going to activate this if I remove this thing right here you'll see that the tracks will change um, automatically so each time we press this you're gonna see that track just there change let's just look at the left of your screen and you'll be able to see them change there we go one by one now the reason that we have this little comparator down here is so that that only happens and all of these tracks change uh, when we actually want to use it. So that supports minecarts coming in now. They'll be able to go straight down the track like this. But if someone presses the button to leave, it's going to dispense the minecart, activate that circuit and allow you to select your destination. And did it work that time? Uh, yes, it did, because that is destination one. So let's just do that again and you can see it will go to the correct destination like that. So we have a little bit more redstone around the back here but that pretty much explains everything. So when you press that button you're going to power this redstone right here. This is going to immediately power this block so it turns off that redstone torch which means this thing activates and then the power goes around again so this creates like an extended pulse and it will keep that torch off for just long enough for any of these destinations to work and that's with a player inside the minecart or without they'll be able to go to any of those destinations based on that timing. Now as well as that there are two other repeaters one of them goes straight into the dispenser so that will activate the minecart it will also power the track as well but the minecart is just going to sit there until a moment later these two repeaters have activated on a slight delay that powers the piston and extends the block which allows the minecart to leave and that is pretty much everything. So to build this you're going to need a fair amount of space to do so. One thing to consider is wherever your floor level is you're going to need a block of space below that as you can see here nothing goes under the ground level um, but this area over here where the station is is about nine blocks deep because there's some redstone at the back here and this bit is obviously a lot skinnier. I'm also going to be building it slightly different we're not going to have this track over here at the front and that's because each of these tracks would go off to a different destination so we'll be building it slightly different on that front uh, but it's nine blocks deep and then it goes across by about 21 blocks on the side and to build it you're going to need a lot of materials you will need 16 redstone comparators, 7 redstone repeaters, 14 pieces of redstone free hoppers, a redstone torch, 7 levers and a wooden button make sure that one is wooden you'll also need a dispenser and 6 furnaces as well as that we need a sand and cactus and then the eight signs and item frame that's all in the room at the front there and then you'll need an item like a torch or something that points to a direction to go into the item frame as well as this you're going to need a lot of building blocks and rails as well now in the station itself you need eight powered rails around 26 rails and a minecart but of course to hook all of this up you're going to need a lot more to take it to the different destinations and then what I've done with this is I built it with two different colors and they use around three quarters of a stack of one 
and around a stack of another. So whatever building blocks you need, you're going to need around that many to build it. So we're going to start off by building the room at the front. Obviously you can make this look however you want, but I put those walls in there just to give you an idea of that, how big that front room is. So we're going to start off with four blocks in a row. Then over on this side we're going to put one on the ground so we can have that sand and cactus directly above it. Then we want to come out by two blocks all the way across and then place a piston facing upwards on the ground there with a block above it and to the side of that block a dispenser facing upwards and then what we can do is put our hoppers pointing into it. So we've built that main bit of the room right there. The next thing we're going to do is put the walls on the side. So we leave a little gap here so the cactus can actually be next to that and then we come all the way across and down and we've left a too high gap here for the track to leave the room and then we want to come across by four blocks and go up by four blocks as well and that's the big uh, wall at the back that you can see right there and then last of all just another wall down the side here that's three high like so and last of all for this room we're also going to need to put a button on the side over here and then you want to put in your signs there's eight of them in total they go around like this with the item frame in the middle and then just put an item in there something that kind of points like this the edge of that is pointing to each of the signs. The next thing to do is to place the blocks for the tracks for our eight destinations which is this shape right here this is fairly straightforward to build just go to the front and go one two three four and then repeat that another seven times and you'll end up with this shape right here the next thing to do is to place down the tracks so we'll put a powered rail there two tracks on the side another one there and a powered rail over here as well and then what we want to do is put three of them like that and then just do the same thing again go one two three four one two three four and do that all the way down to the end and when we reach the end here what you can do is place down another couple of blocks and have a rail here this is going to be for the incoming minecarts that want to go to the station they go down this part of the track right here but the next thing for us to do is to place down some comparators and furnaces we want to put this directly underneath this block and in front of it a furnace like so and we're just going to do this six times in total so that's three of them that is the fourth the fifth and the sixth which will leave you with a gap at the end here which is completely normal that's how it's supposed to work then the next thing for us to do is to place a bunch of levers and power them so one of them goes on the side of that block to power that one and the rest of them go above the furnaces like this so just place it down and then power it that will power the rail and then we've got one last one at the end here so there are just two parts of this left to build. We're going to build one half of the redstone first of all. So we will start off placing a block there. One below it with two in front and then one on the ground. And then we will remove that block. So we've got four of them like that. Then what you want to do is place three blocks underneath like this. Put a repeater facing into that dispenser. Leave it on the default setting. And another two here which go on the full setting like that. Then on these four blocks we want to place down some redstone. At the bottom we're going to have a repeater facing in that direction. Then another three like this and then we'll need to place down three blocks put a redstone torch on the side of this one a comparator facing in that direction and then the very last thing we need to do is to change these three repeaters to the fourth setting like that and then leave that one like normal so now for the second part of the redstone we want to go over one block and up so we place a block there and put a comparator facing outwards like this and then we'll put three blocks like so remove the one in the middle so we can power the redstone in the middle from up above there and then we want to put a block on top of that one with a comparator facing forward and then we have two blocks like this this is where we have the two pieces of redstone and the signal strength will decrease by one then we'll have a repeater on the side facing in that direction and then just place blocks either side of these comparators like so and then we're going to put redstone on top of them which would control the curved rails at the top there and then the last thing for us to do is to put in these comparators and put them on subtract mode and when we've put all of these in place, I do believe that is everything done. So there was one more thing that needed doing. Each of these furnaces needed a single item put into them. And it does need to be an item that stacks up into 64. So just put one of those in each of the furnaces. And then chuck a minecart into one of these hoppers. And then this thing should be ready to go. So let's give it a test. We're going to that destination up there. And you can see it sends us off to the correct place. And there is one last thing to note is that this thing does act as a little bit of a cactus farm because whenever it tries to grow it's going to drop its blocks around the side here. So what you can actually do is remove those two blocks there and just put two more on the top like that and then this cactus will never grow. However it's a little bit bigger so it's up to you what you want to do there. 
One last thing to note, this is the default position for an item frame and the first destination is the first one here. So the second and third etc going upwards are further away and this thing rotates to the left. So as you can see these are labeled the first, the second, the third, the fourth going all the way around to the eighth in the bottom right. But that is it for this video. I hope you have enjoyed it. There is a world download available in the description box if you'd like to download this world to see it for yourself. But that is it for this video. So as always, thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you next time.